Hey everyone, I'm here with Enoch Mwamba. How's it going? Doing very well, doing very well. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you for joining me. And we're here to open some 2020 Upper Deck CFL. You excited? I'm excited, extremely excited. Man. And you got some cards in there too. I do, I do. Just got it in. Hopefully, I'll get <laughs> Let's hope we open some of your cards. All right, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, let's go. All right. First pack. Start it up. Right, all right. We got the first card that I opened up. Brandon Dozier. Nice. This is actually my guy. Uh, I, played, <laughs> I played with him my first year that I, you know, signed with uh, Montreal and he happened to be there. And uh, very, very, very cool guy, man. Very, very cool guy. He, he's actually a, one of those guys, you know, those guys that, you know, we've made fun of him a lot, but he's got that tough skin that it never bothered him, <laughs> right? And uh, when you get at him, just get ready because he's going to bite back. <laughs> but but those, those are cool guy, man. Cool guy. I'm excited for it and, and, and happy to see him succeed. Okay. Yeah, Nick Marshall. He's a guy that I didn't, I didn't play with. I was actually in uh, Saskatchewan. I think I left Saskatchewan the year after he got there. So um, he's a pretty good player, though. Really, really good player. Defensive back. Easily your offense. Hugh O'Neill, good kicker. Oh, that's a number card, I think, too. I mean, there's yeah, nothing at the top right. Card. How do I even real? How do I know what kind of? Ooh, it's a uh, it should be at the top right, I think. Number yeah. to 165. It's yeah, 165. Nice. 139 nice. out of 165. There we go. That's cool. It's definitely different. There we go. Kickers need some love too. There you go. <laughs> TJ Lee. Okay. Got DV over here. Good stuff. So do you have a favorite CFL moment uh, that you can think of right now? Man, favorite CFL moment. I got so many different ones that are really cool. Um, I've been on, I've been a part of so many different, you know, great teams. I think about my very first year in the CFL, this is 2011. But again, when you talk about moments, right, it's, it's something that you'll never forget, right? So my first year, I scored a touchdown. Scooped nice. the score off of a block punt. And then I was a part of a great team. We had this, you know, thing. It was called Swaggerville. The whole city in Winnipeg <laughs> was supportive of it. And, you know, guys, I was a young guy, rookie. So, but guys like the veterans were like selling t shirts out of a tr their trunks. And it was just amazing. <laughs> but going on, I've had amazing, you know, great moments, you know, going forward. And then, you know, great teams all the way through, really. But did you get the, I, sorry, did you get to uh, keep that football on your first touchdown? Funny thing about that story, actually, if you watch the, the, the it's somewhere lingering in you on YouTube or on the internet, but I scored the touchdown, I scooped it and I scored and uh, I was so excited. I wasn't thinking at all. I threw it, launched it into the, <laughs> into the stands. Um, but, uh, you know, I got back in the next day and our equipment manager, Kevin, Kevin out there in, uh, in Kevin and, and and Brad out there in Winnipeg, the equipment managers that they get, they brought it back to me. I don't know if they brought it back from the stands or they just gave me another one. But right now, <laughs> I'm gonna believe that it's the same one. So I have it here somewhere in, a, in one of my boxes. But yeah, it's, it's been pretty cool. So That's a keep uh, course, yeah. So that, and then of course, this last season, I, I you know I was able to be awarded with the most outstanding Canadian award, and it was congrats for sure. Thank you. Some special. You know, um, again, it's, it's a testament to, you know, the journey as well as, you know, the people that have been supporting and encouraging me all the way through. And it was special because I got to spend it with uh, and share it with my family. My two-year-old daughter and my wife were, were there beside me as I was able to, uh, to accept it. That's so it awesome. Great. Congrats. Good for you. Thank you. Last card right here. Actually, speaking of awards, uh, Nate Holly, he was a rookie of the year and, um, you know, he's a linebacker and, you know, I, it's a community linebacker <laughs> that you know, does a lot of good stuff, man. And, and I have a lot of respect for him because he reminds me of a younger me, does a lot of damage on special teams, then goes on defense and he's a, he, he, he does more damage and he's just a pest. But <laughs> gotta be as a linebacker, man. So good for him. How is it seeing uh, friends or teammates or any rivals on a trading card 
Are you just opening packs and you see all these guys that you know? It's been cool, man. It's been cool. It's amazing. Like, you, you know, you, you go to battle with some of these guys. and uh, <laughs> um, But at the end of the day, man, the thing about football, CFL specifically, is that mutual respect that you have for guys, man. I, you know, I can, as soon as, you know, we're between the whites and the whistles blown, you know, I, I have no love for any of them. I tell you that much. <laughs> until the last whistle though, you know, again, I have lots of respect for, you know, a lot of the guys that I compete against and, uh, you know, a guy like Kwaku, you know, he's a guy that, like I said, you know, he, he's a guy that I, I saw playing in university because I always watched my brother's games as well. And I saw him kind of flash out and then um, to, be, to be able to see him, you know, um, succeed and do well in the, in the, at the next level is, is, is always great to see. Nice. John Crockett. Man, he's a tough, tough, tough running back, man. <laughs> tough running back. And he always played with a uh, chip on his shoulder. Um, he's one of those guys you, you got to you gotta really make sure you tackle him because he's a really, you know, good size running back. You know, he's not just like a shorter or, or, or you know, smaller back, but he's, 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 he brings it. You know, he matches the build of a linebacker playing running back. So uh, he's one of those guys. Uh, I remember specifically the reason why I know that we played them in Ottawa, and uh, there's some hits. As a linebacker, I'll tell you this. This is a little secret, okay? Sometimes it looks good on TV, and I'll stand up, and I'll be screaming, and I'll be yelling, and I had one of those hits on him, and I got up. I was screaming, and I was yelling, and, and you know, he looked like he was in a little bit of pain, and it looked really cool because my sideline is erupting and everything, and I'm, <laughs> you know, excited, but the secret is, like, it hurts me too. But... <laughs> I you just don't pain. show it. <laughs> yeah, you just don't show it, man. You don't show it. But, um, you know, you, you, you feel so good that, you know, you don't talk about it or feel it until after the game, of course. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this is my young guy. Paul, man, this is this is one of my favorites, man. Young guy who's a, a linebacker. Uh, you know, really just saw him grow. Uh, as a rookie with Montreal and then in his second year I saw his evolution and I'm just hoping for the best it's always good to see kind of that trajectory kind of going up and the arrows are always pointing up for him he just signed with Toronto um, but I think he's a he's a guy that's uh, that's 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 in a good place uh, he's a smart guy he went to U of T so um, nice. you know anybody that went to U of T will tell you how smart they are and I hear that all the time from my wife she went to <laughs> as well so yeah paul has told me that and when they they when they met it was a U of T reunion <laughs> is there a certain team that there's always like a rival when you play against like is it i'm like being on montreal is it like toronto uh, just that rival between toronto and montreal all the time in sports do you feel well, the, same, the same way montreal is it's it's weird because we we um we don't have like a direct direct rival where we don't like anybody in the east of course um <laughs> But I know for me personally, uh, uh, for whatever reason, uh, anytime I play against a team I've played for in the past, you know, being Winnipeg, being Saskatchewan, there's always like a little bit of, you know, uh, a little jolt I feel inside of myself. So, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm always excited, a little bit extra excited for it. We got right. You need to see more Montreal cards, your teammates. I'm telling you, man. I haven't seen <laughs> one yet. <laughs> Next pack. Here we go. <laughs> this is when we talk about my guy. This is my ace right here, man. Woody Bear. We're talking about, you know, CF, I mean, uh, Montreal uh, players, man. Uh, for whatever reason, this past year, I've been, I, I hung out a lot with a lot of D linemen, obviously, him being one of them, Woody Bear. Uh, just one of the coolest guys, one of the coolest guys. And I've always considered myself a really, you know, laid back guy. But, you know, after a while, I'll get a little bit into, you know, certain conversations with the group of guys that we kind of hung out a lot with. We call ourselves 222 because we always united into that room in training camp. It was room 222, which was Ryan Brown, myself and Fabian Foote, and of course, Woody Barron. But this guy is just a cool dude, playmaker, super versatile, and he never, ever 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 complains and I have been you know linebacker you know my whole you know career and that's nine years as a middle linebacker you have to deal with all types of attitudes in front of you 
D linemen, you know, you give them the play, they'll look back. Hey, what? Hey, how do we do this? Hey, what is this? You know, well, whether it's a complaint or just a question, this guy right here, no questions asked, puts his hand in the dirt and just goes to work, man. Uh, <laughs> always loved his attitude. There we go. Montreal card right there. There we are. Ooh, special, special, special card alert. Can we talk about this one? Like, you got oh. something special there? Yes, it's a special one. Ooh, it's a jersey one. Oh, a patch. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so dope, man. I think it's uh, numbered, it should be numbered, I think, too, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, numbered at 25? Yes, it's uh, four out of 25. Nice. This is cool. Nice, and it's thick, too. Super thick. Nice, nice pull. Yeah. That's a big pull. Hopefully I'll get one of those myself. <laughs> yeah, we need to we need to pull something out of you. <laughs> there we go. We got Shaquille Richardson right here for Argos. DB. All right. Next pack. Get some big cards here. Mario is probably like one of the tallest players, you know, in the CFL. I don't even know what he's officially listed at. I think what it says 611 at the back. Wow. Weighs 340 pounds. Yeah. And I have to block, uh, you know, to go against him. So Jeez, that's a big dude. <laughs> it's not, it's not the funnest thing around. This is uh, my other ace that I don't play with anymore. Played a long time with him in Saskatchewan. And, uh, you know, he's one of those guys that, you know, becomes your brother, sort of like Woody, um, his wife. Um, Holly has also been become a great friend of my wife Jessica and we kind of actually they were actually our wives were actually pregnant at the same time when we were in Saskatchewan so oh, nice. uh, when uh, they gave birth a little bit after us and so their daughter Kelly and our daughter uh, Thea are really good friends as well so it's like it's, it's, he's a special guy obviously defensive player of the year as well um, this past season man He's a special player, man. You, one of those guys that breaks games from the defensive line, and it's a, he's a problem. You have to put that aside just for him. You yeah, yeah. Give sure. that to him. For sure. <laughs> hey, we got over here Chris Rainey. Chris Rainey, man, we had some great battles over the years, and uh, you know him and I also played together on the team in the U.S. That we were with the Colts, and so. Uh, Cool guy, man. And he's definitely a problem to, to kind of deal with. Um, every time we play against each other, man, we always have some great conversations. <laughs> if I make a tackle, he'll, he'll usually tell me, man, you know, you're going to let me go and score? I tell him, that Randy, man, you know I can't do that. <laughs> are you uh, are you a big trash talker? Like a friendly, maybe, trash, tr trash Funny, talker? I was having that conversation with somebody recently, but um, I'm not I'm not a big trash talker. Like, I won't talk. I won't say anything. I can go a whole game without saying a word to my opponent, uh, but I will say something when you say something to me. <laughs> so, uh, if you don't say anything, we're good, but I, I, I'll talk to you. Um, I'll talk to you if you try and talk to me. And then also, like, I just get excited, so I think that rubs people the wrong way sometimes, yeah. and, but hey, can't control those things. Yeah. Another linebacker, TJ Tave. Oh, Junior, Junior Tave, sorry. Ooh, Cody. Okay. I like this guy. I really, really like him, man. Oh, I, actually, I did a video with him uh, on Saturday. Yes, Cody's a cool guy, man. I always loved his um his energy and um how he plays the game. Um, we've had great conversations off the field, you know. Um really cool dude man he's one of those guys you hit you kind of feel you feel bad because he's such a good guy but you got to do what you got to do right <laughs> for your job <laughs> mike wakefield good stuff over there over there for uh the red blacks this is another guy that you know i don't necessarily enjoy hitting well i still like hitting him but <laughs> trevor harris he's another good guy that you don't really you feel bad for after you hit, man. Trevor Harris, cool dude, man. He's one of those guys. He's always supported me for whatever reason, man. Um, yeah, his spirit has always kind of warmed my soul as well, man. But he, uh, he he's always supported me for whatever reason. And I always try to encourage him and, and support him as well when I see him, man. 
Got Nila Casitati. Another young guy. Does good stuff for him out there in um in uh in Calgary. Calgary always has some some very smart, down to earth, and uh uh players that just go about their business, and he's one of those guys as well. Antoine Pruneau, man, he's another Canadian that's always that's been breaking out onto the scene and uh you know, always glad to see that. I should be doing a video with them today too, actually. Good stuff. Good stuff. He's a good guy. Good guy. And he's also part of the PA. So we have a, a special connection there too. Greg Ellingson, really good receiver, does damage. He's a problem. You got to know where he's at. You got Andrew Harris, Swiss Knife. You know, Swiss Army knife because he does almost everything for him, man. He's a focal point of their offense and uh, has um, has been tremendous over the years. And he's another guy, you know, as a Canadian that, you know, you're proud of just because of, you know, his progression. Again, I, I remember, you know, playing against him since I was in, uh, you know, in Winnipeg and he was in BC and uh, you kind of saw his kind of, you know, ascension and, and, and where he's gone to, how he's gone to where he is today. So, it's uh it's always cool to see mr williams right here Ooh, we got a special card alert special uh -oh. card for a special player okay oh jersey card nice jersey card it's pretty cool man pretty cool man and this is again like i said he's a game breaker um adam big hill you know, um, I don't know how much he talks. I don't think he talks on the field either, but he does, he, he does damage always. That's the way he talks on the field. Just like you, the damage that you do, right? Man, there you go, man. <laughs> uh, you know what card I got next? Do you guys know what card I got? Next? <laughs> the one, the only number 10 in your program and one in your heart is myself, man. <laughs> Yeah. All right, there we go. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's myself, man. Wait, what can I say about myself, man? I'm not going to tell you but, you know, uh, I'm proud of this guy right here. I'm proud of him. That's all I'll say. About that goes him. up on the wall. No, for sure. <laughs> for sure, man. Patrick uh, Newfield, offensive lineman for Winnipeg, does good work. Got another quarterback that's going to BC. He played for the Red Blacks for a couple of years. Um, young guy. And uh, you know, potential is 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 looking good. Dominique Rhymes, he's also going to BC. And this is my other guy, Sean Jamison, really cool dude, another teammate of mine. He uh he's by far one of the funniest guys that you'll know, play with. And cool fact about this guy, he's probably the best chess player I've ever seen. He will challenge you any day of the week, any time of the week. If we got like in between meetings, we got free time, he'll come and he walks around with a chess, a little a mini chest, uh, uh, what do you call it, board and <laughs> all the pieces. So he'll so I'll pull it out and just challenge you. I think I played him like five times and I haven't beaten him. After the fifth time, I started making excuses. Oh, I got to go. I'll see you later. But uh, Next pack, Boris, man. Boris Betty, the Frenchman, the Frenchman, man. He's a, he's a really cool cat, cool dude, new father as well. So congrats to him. Nice. Congrats to him. Yeah. Jordan Hoover. I just think his name is one of the coolest, you know, in the CFL. Jordan Hoover. What? <laughs> <laughs> My guy, man. I've competed against him for so long. So it's cool to kind of play with him. He's just a cool guy. We talk about a cool name, cool guy. Just always chilled, relaxed, and uh, and maintaining his cool at any time, whether it's practice. This is one of those guys, like, he'll, he's tired, but he still looks cool, man. Wagged <laughs> out. BJ Cunningham, man, cool guy. Ricky Collins Jr., another guy I played with in Saskatchewan, man. Really cool receiver as well. That's number two. Yep, yep. Ooh, this is a special one. Oh, you got another special one. Nice. Nice. He's a D lineman, Avery Ellis. Dorado. Yeah, yeah, he's got an autograph on here and everything. Nice. I was wondering where you're going to get that one. Yes. <laughs> Vontae Diggs, a young linebacker that 
that that you know obviously you notice every linebacker notices every other linebacker if they say that they don't it's uh they're lying but you know he's a young guy that does really good work for Edmonton and I think that you know he's got potential like um um through the roof so your brother he plays in the CFL too and you played against him and with him. He played. He played. I have two brothers, and 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 I think like I've probably been. I don't know how many others can say this. At least about a trio, but um, and I'm the only one of my of both my brothers who played with both of them at at, at some point. Oh, that's awesome. So um, my older brother obviously got into the CFL before me, and then uh, finally um he his last season last year he was with uh with us in montreal for a little bit but i've played with him in in winnipeg and before that I played against him in um and when he was in bc but um obviously him being on defense so playing against him is is uh is is, is not much of face to face but again like i played with him so again and i've played with him in university as well so playing with him in university and then i also play with him as a pro is i think it's something special and that's been pretty cool yeah my younger brother i played with him as well how cool is it seeing yourself on a trading card oh it's really cool man it's, it's it's absolutely cool you know it's uh one of those things when you're when you're young and you're not a pro you always kind of want to you want to have so it, it's amazing to see and and i think i'll even appreciate it even more when i'm done uh playing the game but um, I always like having one handy too. So whenever I see, I meet somebody that's, you know, a, a supporter and I can send it to him or give it to him. So it, it's really cool. It makes for nice gifts, Yeah. but, um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, seriously, it's, uh, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's like seeing like a dream really come true. And, uh, it's very humbling to be honest with you. It really is. So, um, that's awesome. Cool thing. Ooh, we got a special car, 165. Armando Sewell, he's a nice. tough guy, man. Tough, tough guy, man. Uh, I remember when he first got into the CFL, which was around the same time I got into the CFL. Um, actually, it was uh, we, were, we were rookies the same year, I think. Uh, what does it say? Yeah, yeah, he's a nine-year pro, so nine years in total. So would have been my 2011 would have been his first year as well, and. Um, I remember him because he wasn't necessarily making plays completely on defense yet like he is now, but he was on special teams. I was on special teams as well. I uh, wasn't playing much on defense as well, but I'm on special teams and I was going really, really hard. And I remember he was, um, it was, uh, uh, they were on field goal. And so he's over there, he's on the edge and I was just rushing, you know, just trying to bring in my all and what I would do was I'd pick somebody and I'd just go and run right through them you know? <laughs> coaches really like that so uh, I happened to pick this guy number 90 he played for Edmonton Armando and uh, I'm like all right cool he's the guy I'm going for him lined up you know put my hand down boom the ball snapped and I run right through him and every time it was usually like I run to you know to somebody I hit them to take a step back or they go backwards or whatnot I hit him, man, and it was different. <laughs> I had a headache for a little bit. It was a solid guy, solid guy. Glad I don't have to, to block him as an offensive lineman. <laughs> Levi Noel, man, he's another young guy that, you know, you have to respect coming out of Toronto, um, playing hometown Toronto as well for some time. Uh, he um, he uh, He's a guy that's earned his way through, man, on offense. And specifically as a receiver and as a Canadian receiver, it's not easy to last in this league. Um, but he uh, he's done very well. And the reason for that is because he works so hard on special teams. Um, and he's a guy that whenever you play Toronto on special teams, you know that he's going to have a, a, a major role on it. Second last. Second last pack. Second last pack. <laughs> Got Jesse Gibbon. Old lineman, Aaron Grimes, really, really, really good player. He does some good work for him out there in um, in BC and spent a lot of time out there in um, in Edmonton as well. And we got my other guy, Larry Dean. Again, another linebacker I got a lot of respect for um, uh, for his four years that he played in the CFL. He's done some some great stuff. 
really, really good stuff. He's one of those technical, technical linebackers. Every time I watch film on an offense, I always see him. I'm trying to see, okay, what did Larry Dan do for, 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 you know, for this game and how did he react and how did he deal with this play? But, um, you know, he's one of those guys that's super, 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 super technical. So, um, it's uh it's it's cool to see another linebacker do well like that. Dominic Davis, he's a guy I spent a little bit of time with as well in the NFL, but um he's a guy that again, you know, finding his way in the uh, in the CFL and uh he has his uh chance that's uh that's coming up again this year in um in Ottawa. My guy, Moseko Lacombo, man. You talk about versatility, man. He's this guy. He can literally play almost at all three levels for sure on defense. He can rush for you on the def- uh, as a defensive end. He can play linebacker for you because he brings it. If you don't know, let, look him up. And he can definitely f- uh, play as a free safety as well, which he did when he went to school out in Oregon as well. So um, this, is, this guy is just the definition, the epitome of versatility. And you got uh, Josh Huff, young guy, super elusive um, guy. And uh, he does really, really good stuff for them out there in Calgary. Last, last pack. Least. Last pack. Last but not least, we got Trey Rutherford, my teammate out here. Offensive lineman, does good work, man. He's one of those guys, he doesn't really talk much, but he... Solid. He's solid. Avery Williams, linebacker, really, really, really like super hard hitter. Again, you, you can't help but see, you know, other linebackers when you watch film and uh, he always pops up. We got Jeremiah Masoli, man. I'm excited for his return. He had a, a tough year last year, got hurt, but um, man, uh, he's a good dude and, and, and I'm hoping for the best for him. Uh, specifically this upcoming season when uh, he returns from his injury. This is my young buck, K.O. Kafour, man. We, uh, 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 I don't, I didn't even play with him and it's a special guard. It's a 165, nice. but um, we, uh, uh, he went to the same school as I went to. Um, interestingly enough, he was actually a defensive lineman, converted to offensive line and doing very well for Hamilton. But um, he's a guy that I got a chance to talk with when he was still in university. We kind of had great discussions when he was, you know, kind of making the transition. I kind of helped mentor him to come into the CFL. And, um, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm extremely happy. Like we talked about guys that, you know, seeing on cards, he's one of those guys, you know, little brother type guy that, um, you know, I've seen mature and see from university days where, you know, my coach at CFS, Coach Waterman would call me, hey, you know, I want you to talk to him. And, uh, you know, like I said, kind of uh, a special bond with him. <laughs> this one right here, I wish it was a special card. But this is a legend, a legendary card right here, man. John Bowman. John, I call him Old Man Bowman. John <laughs> Bowman, man. He played for what? It says 14 years a year. But um, I, I lost count because he's played for so long. And nobody knows when he's going to retire. I think the last five years, he was saying that it's been his last year. And um, so nobody believes him. I'm not, and then we got, this is his celebration. Gino Lewis, really, really, really good dude from Philly out there. Uh, Eugene, man, really cool guy. And, you know, one of the most talkative, uh, you know, receivers you'll see out there. But just gets work done, gets work done. So I have a lot of respect for him as well, man. And uh, that's that. That's it? Oh, that's awesome. Man, you did really well. I'm so happy that you opened one of your cards, too. That's awesome. Me too. I really appreciate you doing this and uh, just to finish off, uh, do you want to say something about your podcast? Because we were talking about this before, you have a podcast. Yeah, that's right, man. It's been amazing. And I think that life is all about, you know, evolution. And, and when we talk about these cards and, and it's always cool because when you see these guys, some of these guys, you know, kind of where they started from and how they got to where they are. And, and my podcast is really about that. It's about evolution and it's about bringing value to people. 
you know, helping others evolve and grow. And so uh, it's called Moama Moments on all, you know, podcast platforms as well as on YouTube. So check out my social media if you want to get more information on it. Um, you know, I've gotten a chance to sit down with some legends. And so in order to grow and evolve, like, you know, a lot of the guys that you see on these cards, you have to learn not only from your own mistakes, but also from the mistakes of others and from the lessons that others people have gone through. And that's what, you know, the platform that I've provided with um, the more moments. And like I said, sat down with some legends, uh, Hall of Famer and legend, came in with Tombo. I've talked to Pinball Clement, some Olympians, some actors, some uh, supermodels, you know, from all walks of life. I guarantee you there is something for you to learn. And if you apply it, guess what? You're going to be soaring as well. That's awesome. Everyone go check it out. And I appreciate you uh, opening some facts with us. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. Thanks. You too.